Hi, my name is Gary Simmons, and this video is about the installation of the NACA air inlet that you need to install uh, on the top part of your cap. And as you can see, I've already installed mine, but I'm going to provide some, um, some tips with respect to the accurate location and installation of the inlet. Okay, as you can see, I've um, begun the process, or at least I'm sharing my experience in installing uh, my inlet and as you can see it's uh, it's right there in the very center and uh, we begin by establishing a center line on the, on the top portion of your cowl so I have a, a, a string that uh, works the center line principle and so you might just before you uh, remove the top cowl after you fitted it go ahead and draw this line to begin this process Okay, I'm going to begin the process by first creating a template for the inlet. And I've got a piece of cardboard here, an old um, mailing box, and I'm just going to use it to draw my template. Now, the inlet itself is not necessarily perfect with respect to all the dimensions, so this particular line is not quite square. There's a little bit of a, a gap here, so don't worry about uh, those little imperfections. You just want to get a general uh, template that will uh, work for you. So I'm going to place the template, or I'm going to place the inlet um, squared up with the bottom edge on the cardboard itself. And I'm just going to make a mark on the insides of each of the sides of this. And I'm just going to go a little bit further in just to have a sense of what the, uh, the curvature is going to be. And if you notice, on the inlet, uh, this is a this this edge is a perfect copy of the inner edge where we're actually going to be uh, creating the template itself. So I'm going to use this outer edge as a guide to begin to uh, form that template. So I'll just start, for instance, on this side, positioning the inlet just slightly down from the marks I created, and I'm going to continue along this line all the way up to the other side. And then I'm going to change positions, place this on this side, and do the same. So as you can see, it's not bad. It's in perfect shape. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to locate this top edge here so that uh, when I get ready to cut out the template, I'm going to do so in an accurate manner. So I'm going to take a straight edge, work it across, and just get an approximate mark as to where this needs to be. One on one side and one on the other side. And now I'll just uh, continue this line across and that'll be my top edge. Next, I'm going to just get an idea of the radius or the diameter of this curvature. And I notice it's about an inch and a half. And so I'm going to just get an inch and a half hole saw. When I get ready to, to do this, I'm going to mark the center of this an inch and a half or a half that, which would be um, three quarters of an inch. And that's where I'm going to drill the hole and I'll have that hole uh, drilled in the actual top part of the cowl and then I'll be able to uh, finish the template. I'll show you how that works. First just cut the whole thing out. Okay, as you can see, it's uh, not a bad fit. And so the next step is to, to determine the position of the inlet on top of the cowl, which we'll need to take off the cowl and uh, create a center line, uh, replicate that center line this time on top of the engine for the positioning of this. And I'll show you that process next. So just one more reminder, be sure and draw a center line on the template 
and uh, on this template and when you get ready to place this on the cowling since you already have the, your center line drawn on the top cowl go ahead and just line this up and you'll be set to go but first before we do that I'm going to go ahead and draw a center line on top of this inlet as this for reference remember we're going to be drilling a hole for the dipstick and that's a part of the our accurate positioning of the uh, NAACA inlet so we know we're going to place the inlet somewhere in this area here and um, here's here's the, the air filter for my uh, throttle assembly and and so this is going to be positioned somewhere in this area and we have to keep in mind that the um, dipstick access is right here so we're not going to want to be too far uh, forward because we'd miss the opportunity of creating a hole and so we want to position this in such a way as that we have enough sufficient space to make sure that we can locate this hole uh, accurately as well as it being practical for our purposes. Now I have the center line here drawn on the inlet and we'll also have a corresponding center line um, on the engine when we get ready to measure the exact position of where this hole needs to be um, after we've positioned it on uh, the, the cowling itself. So as, as I look to locate this, I can see by this position that I clear the, um, the oil access, um, the cover here, and I have room for my dipstick. And so the next step in the process will be to calculate the distance from uh, the edge of my cowling to this edge right here. And so you can do that a number of ways. Um, you, can, you can just calculate, uh, measure this distance from your firewall to here and then um, uh, be sure to calculate the overlap of your cowling, the top cowling, and the distance from that edge to the firewall itself and uh, do the math with respect to this position. And so that'll be the next step. So as I'm um, in the process of positioning the template for the cut, what I'm wanting to do is now uh, apply that measurement from the edge of my cowling to where the edge of the inlet will be. And so for, on my airplane, I've got eight inches. And it's likely that uh, you will be also very close to that calculation, especially if you have a uh, 750 or the cruiser. And of course, you want to position right in the very center. Um, and, and then, of course, there you're going to be positioning it so that you can accurately calculate where this dipstick hole needs to be drilled. And so as you can see, as you apply the template to your cowling, then what you're going to do is you're going to, once you find this edge, you're just going to draw that line and position your uh, template um, on, it, on that line and then go ahead and trace out this part of it and then drill a pilot hole and then use um, uh, the appropriate size hole saw to cut this hole out and then with your diamond bladed um, uh, skill saw you'll, you can cut these, uh, these lines off and when, uh, I used a Dremel, my Dremel um, uh, cutter and cut that and that just pops right out and then you have um, the perfect hole and we'll talk about uh, getting, getting it installed and then finally ac accurately locating where this hole needs to be. So as you can see in my installation, I have used flush rivets, uh, eighth inch flush rivets to uh, permanently install it. And then I used uh, uh, some um, fiberglass resin on the bottom to seal it all in. Um, so you can use whatever technique that you feel comfortable with. You can glue this in place or fiberglass it in place. With any, uh, in any uh, manner that you use, uh, keep in mind that to position it accurately, you'll probably need to drill some pilot holes and use some Clecos to, uh, to get this uh, piece in position. It's, uh, it's not necessarily perfectly flat, and neither is the top part of the cowling, so there is some, um, some need to make sure this surface is uh, flat up against the bottom of the cowl. And I'll just um, tilt this up so you can so see how it looks on the inside now. And as you can see, I needed to use a number of rivets in order for this to uh, really remain flat. 
and uh, it turned out really well and once again I just put some uh, fiberglass uh, resin all around the bottom of it and it sealed it up pretty good. And So now we'll uh, look at the position and once you get this inlet installed then we calculate and measure uh, what's needed in order to really drill out that dipstick hole and that'll be next. So now you can see I've, uh, I've established a center line via this uh, string from the very center of the back of the firewall right above the uh, steel bungee and uh, brought it all the way over here to the front of the uh, prop, uh, prop hub. So I have that pretty close to center and next I'll show you how we're going to measure uh, where to locate the dipstick hole. Okay now that I have the center line established I can measure from the back of the firewall and uh, locate it uh, directly above the uh, and adjacent to uh, the uh, dipstick hole and so as you can see it's 13 and a half inches and then what I uh, will do is I will measure the distance from that center line and uh, capture that distance which as you can see is approximately two inches and so I'll measure out from with the cowl installed and the um, inlet installed, I'm going to measure out 13 and a half inches from the center line and then two inches for the dipstick oil. And that's a dipstick uh, position. And then that'll be where I drill the hole. So let's check that out on, on the cowling. Okay, now for sake of in, uh, illustration, just imagine that uh, the uh, inlet has been permanently installed now as it is on my cowling and the center line is is represented you, you've left that on and so the next step is simply to take your tape measure and place it on the firewall itself and as you can see as we uh, zoom in on this about 13 and a half inches is where we measured and then two inches from the center line so we would then find that two inch mark from the center line to begin our pilot hole. And you go ahead and uh, drill your hole out, making it sufficiently large enough so that the dipstick is able to fit into the hole and is basically free of any obstruction with respect to the cowling itself or the inlet. So there, make sure there's a sufficient clearance and you'll be good to go. Now I've noticed that mine's just a tear, uh, tad off but uh, you may need to enlarge it a little bit with um, a Dremel sander um, or just enlarge it a little bit with your Unibit. So good luck on the installation of the NACA inlet.